Hello. Sasha Stone's asked me to say uh, a few words about awakening. And he said, keep it to about five minutes, which is for me akin to swimming the Atlantic, really, with a, with a, with a brick tied to my legs. Uh, but I'll try. <laughs> and I'll focus it on one area, because I think this is the most important. You know, what we perceive ourselves to be is what we experience, what we live. And most people perceive themselves to be this, a, a body with labels, names. We identify with being a man or a woman or something in between sexuality, race, religion, whatever, um, all these labels and perception dictates our, our lives because we behave as we do because we perceive as we do but it also fundamentally dictates i would say how much of this infinite field of consciousness awareness insight that we are tapping into so if you perceive yourself your self-identity as being the labels of a human life then you are you are in the realm of severe limitation because all that is about I can't, it's not possible, little me. And that will deprive you of the vastness of possibility of tapping into the infinite field with all its insight and knowledge and awareness. And that's the idea. That's the idea of the global conspiracy is to keep us in five sense perception thus to keep us in this reality, which is, I would say, a, a technologically generated simulation, but it's another story. On the other hand, if you self-identify not with this, but with being the consciousness that is experiencing this briefly, and not just the consciousness experiencing the body, but consciousness in its entirety, we are a point of attention called human within all that is, has been, and ever can be. And what am I describing? You know, the five senses will say, you can't be all that is, has been, and ever can be. It's not possible. Well, of course it is, because what I'm describing is all possibility, all potential. So within this infinite field of the all that is, is all possibility, all potential waiting to be tapped into and manifested into an experience. And here are we, quote, humans, sitting like that. When you reevaluate your self-identity, and not just conceptually and intellectually, but you live it, I am a, all that is, has been, and ever can be, having a brief experience, then that self-identity takes you out of the myopia of limitation, of I can't, of I'm just a human, just a little me. It takes you, by definition, as you expand your self-identity, you're expanding deeper and deeper and deeper into the field of insight of all possibility or potential. And many things happen. You, your life is transformed, first of all, but it's transformed because you're now tapping in to those levels of awareness that can allow you to see the illusions of this reality and also the illusions of self-identifying as a little I body me. And that expansion out of five sense mind into infinite consciousness, that's what we call awakening. What are we awakening from? We're awakening from the illusions that this body-mind biological computer, I call it, feasors as reality. But they can be overridden and self-identity with the all that is, is what overrides them faster and more profoundly than anything else. 
I think I've got, I think I've helped manage to speak for only five minutes on anything. I mean, hello, record breakers. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.